I became the new Atletico Madrid manager with the goal to make them better than Real Madrid and Barcelona by winning them the league and the Champions League. Last episode, we failed to make it out our Champions League group, which means I am now sacked, but not yet. As the board has given me the rest of the season, as we are currently top of La Liga after 18 games above Real Madrid by three points. They said that at the end of the season, they will sack me. It will basically take a miracle for me to keep my job. There is absolutely no way we should have been knocked out the group stage with this side. How on earth did we do it? We did horrible in the Champions League in season one also. Look, guys, we may have failed this objective to win the Champions League with Atletico. But there's two objectives. And the first one was to win La Liga and become better than Real Madrid and Barcelona. That is still alive. We can do that. And to help us do that, we need to use this January window. Yes, we are in January currently. And we have 309 million. But remember, we're limited to 50 million per signing and our squad is already strong so with 50 million or under where on earth do we make a signing we are playing lamar right center mid currently he's doing an all right job vermeron would be the player to come in so a lot of you guys are saying center mid go out sign that really good center midfielder and let's get over the line and win that league title guys if we quickly turn social media and look at fabizio romano apparently inside reports are saying that nico williams will leave the club at the end of the season if we do not win the league. Yes, our 22 year old 87 rated winger. Our number 10, one of our best players who has only got four goals in 23 appearances with five assists. So not having a great season. Maybe here's one of the reasons we didn't make it out the group stage. But I tell you who is having a great season. He did last year's now. It is Morata. 20 goals in 23. If we are going to win the league this season, this man's going to be carrying us. So to double check these rumors, I actually go to Nico Williams and I ask him, Nico, is it true that you want to leave the club if we don't win the league boss that is absolutely correct i feel i could be doing a whole lot better than atletico madrid but nico in 23 appearances this season you only have four goals you are a very very good player but how about just stepping your game up boss i don't appreciate you speaking to me like that anyways you're getting sacked at the end of the season so i don't feel this conversation needs to go on any longer great so now nico williams doesn't like me is he actually gonna play for me we do have Depay, who's 86 rated after that i might just straight up drop when it comes to signing a center mid, we do have some decent options already. We have Gallagher, 48 to 60, probably won't be able to get him. Bruno Gamares, yeah, he'll be too expensive. And then we just have a bunch of CDMs. I have an idea though. If we think about it, who is second and third? Real Madrid and Barcelona. Can we weaken them? You're probably thinking, Harry, do you really believe you can sign someone from Real Madrid to weaken them? Not really, but we could try. Definitely not Bellingham. Sabas isn't worth signing. Too many, well, we don't need a CDM. Valverde, well, we don't have about 200 million to spend. So how are we going to sign him? And then you guys are probably also going to say, I know it. There's no point weakening Barca because they're rubbish already. Gundogan, we can afford, but do we really want him? Pedri, he would cost a ton. And then there's Pablo Gavi. Someone who came through the academy. Imagine if we were to get our hands on him. 20, 85 overall, 67 to 83 million. His contract is running out. We can't sign him on a pre-contract because of his age. Only if we just got the board to give us a couple of more million. Okay, about 25 more million. That's a little bit more than a couple. So let's try. I go to the board and explain this Pablo Gaffey situation, saying that I need 20 to 25 million more on top of a 50 million limit to be have to sign him. But board really weren't sure, but after some convincing, they were in. I mean, come on, we have 300 million in our budget. We're not going to pay his release clause of 154. That's not happening. If we go in with 77 million, they accept it. I maybe could have gone even lower. But guys, this could be the signing that wins us the league title this season. Now, no one expected this. Pablo Gavi in an Atletico Madrid shirt. Boom. There he is in the side. Gavi, Caicedo and Griezmann as a midfield. That's pretty lethal. But Man United now want Vermeeren. I'm sure he would want to do this move, but we're going to say no. And look at that. A 3-0 win over Lafane. A Morada hat-trick. He just is too good. Okay, I did not realize that him 
Jimenez's contract was expiring. Well, if we're not here next season, it doesn't matter, does it? Now putting the rotated side out in the Copa de España, and it's a 2 0 win over Cadiz. Now, a competition that we could win, it would make the board happy, is this Super Cup. Real Madrid in the semi final. Every time we play Real, they absolutely own us. Darwin Nunez, number 10. That is so random. Is Vinny coming forward? Good opportunity here for Vinny. The shot. What a block. Darwin. Oh, it's 1 0. It's just too easy. Ooh, penalty. Murata to equalize it, though. Top left hand corner. Smash it in. What a pen. This guy right now is world class. It's 1 1. And our defense is the opposite to world class. So let's behave here. Here's Nunez. The Bios in the box. Oh, what is that? It's a Bios of all people. I looked at him and said, we do not want to sign him. And he heard us. It's gone and scored. Come on, Joel. Do something. He's past that defender there in the box. Makes the pass. The shot. Griezmann, nope. what a save. You have to score that. Oh, look at this free kick here with Griezmann. Can we get this over the wall? In fact, I know exactly what I'm doing. We're going to get this around the wall like that. Loads of power on target. Griezmann, it's into the wall. Back post, though. Oh, just missed it. And that's game. A 2-1 loss to Madrid. But back to La Liga. A 3-1 win. Three goals again. Nico Williams with a brace. Is he going to get started now? 2-0 versus Robert Acana. He scores again with Joao Felix. And great. In a competition that we want to win, we're now facing Barca in the round of 16. And we kick it off with a penalty. Do we put Pablo Gavi on this? If he misses, he'll be a massive fraud. And Murata absolutely smashed home the last one. So here we go. He's missed it. Great. Now, these kits actually clash. At least for me, they do. Look, here's Gavi on the ball. Now to Felix, another ex-Barca player. Get that whipped in. Williams back post. Doesn't get his head on it. Great. Penalty Barcelona. Lewandowski is going to go down the middle here. Lewandowski. Okay, that is definitely not down the middle. Woo! Top right-hand corner. We weaken Barca for our title hopes, and we are losing to them in the cup. We just are terrible in everything, but the league, that guy just fell over. Now here's... Oh, you're joking. You're joking. What are we doing? Pedro Tunel, and that is how the game ends. HRS, that last performance was unacceptable. You're out the cup. If we see any drop in performances in the league, you will be sacked now, not the end of the season. And we are actually second in the league because we have a game in hand. This is going to get really, really close. But thankfully, we actually do win in the league. We're undefeated, in fact, in 21. Israel Sociedad, a 2-0 win. Joao Felix and Williams, the same combination again. Now, a lot of you guys are probably saying you win when you sim because you're just trash at playing the game. Okay, I'm going to prove to you guys that I still have it this game. Real, a game we cannot be losing and we might be 1-0 down. Yes, we are. Maybe you guys are right. That is just horrible defending again. Okay, here's Caicedo charging forward. Look at this from Joao Felix. This could get us back in it. Into the box. Has got the pass. Yes, the pass. Griezmann. Oh, straight away, 1-1. One, one. I tried Griezmann. Who else would it be? That's great, great play from Joao Felix there. And then he's patient with the pass, and that's a tap in. Okay, it's Griezmann coming out the back. Look at this dribbling, the strength as well. Can he pick a pass out onside? Murata is through. Can he line it up? Go on, tuck it home. Murata, hold oh, the save. Again, the opposition getting in a situation we really shouldn't be allowing them to. That's a ball there to Griezmann. Oh, there we go. We've kept it. That's good. Griezmann, he's got that left foot. Chip it up. Go on, give that a welly. Right at the keeper. Oh, 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 oh. Yep, yep. 2-1. Now, let's see what went wrong here, because that, again, is just dreadful defending. They just get us on the turn. Okay, here's Griezmann. Look at that run there, Murata. No, it was for Murata. Oh, Felix has got it, though. It's through. Surely, 2-2. Two -two. Felix with the goal. Well, Felix wins the ball off the defender and smashes it home. Okay, this could be us going 3-2. Let's get this momentum going. Ronaldo coming forward. Yes, this is good. Makes the pass. It's 3-2. Murata tapping. We've turned this game around. Can we now just defend, please? Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. He sat us down. He sat us down. I don't bloody believe it. You're having a laugh. What was that defending? Or what the heck is that attacker? What's he doing? That was incredible. We will not draw this game. We will win. Look at Kaizeto coming forward. Now to Griezmann. Is he onside? He's hit the post and he's offside. The computer just keeps sitting me down. Murata is in behind. Surely this is now the winner. Murata don't miss. 
with three minutes to play we're winning it's 4-3 atletico what a dreadful game this has been but we should have three points now 23 games undefeated now that is very very impressive isn't it we're top of the league five points clear from real madrid this is big and we continue it though cadiz a 3-0 win Morata with a brace and molina Morata is just straight up goaded 28 goals in 31 appearances and 5 assists. This man may win us the league title. But don't forget, guys, we are in the Europa League. We got knocked out the group, finishing third place. We have Bryden now in the first round. Do we make changes here? That, that, come on. Okay, I've probably rotated too much there. And yes, we have. We lose 2-1. Back to the league and another 2-1, but we win. Morada a brace, obviously. This is only the preliminary round in the Europa League. So if we go out, just sack us right now. Okay, we're through Murata and Griezmann, the two main men. And the next round, we have drawn Fenerbahce. The mission continues. Objective, do not bottle the league. Oh, 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 oh. Unbelievable. Unbelievably terrible defending. Where on earth did all that space come from? What has happened? The game has never been this bad with defense. You guys are going to have to let me know if there's been updates or something. They've changed something. Look at this from the left back. Look at this from the left back. He's missed it. Here's Felix. Over the top there for Murata. Can he take it down? Yes. Nope. Oh, the save. The rebound. It's Murata. Of course it is. 1-1. One, one. Maybe he could have volleyed it. Yeah. I, I mean, to score that straight away would have been pretty cool. But we get the rebound. Griezmann pushing this one forward. Can we get in front? Ronaldo picking out Murata. Oh, Griezmann. Now Murata. Oh, what a goal. He's not missing that. I knew it was it before he kicked it. It's 2-1 Atletico. Bit unlucky with the pat. Wow, very unlucky for Severe. That was terrible. Oh, look at this, Severe. Oh, the movement again. It's almost like the center backs have no agility. Just completely send them. I think the secret is don't lose the ball because if you have the ball, they can't score. 20 minutes to win this game now. Felix, come on, do something. Murata. Do something. You're the man. Yes, yes, yes. He's through. That's a goal. It's Marada. Boom. Top corner. It's 3-2. This man is too good at football. Cristiano who? Lionel who? We have Marada. Marada did get a hat trick. The game ends. We get the three points just about again. And that is now us on 68 points. Guys, we are nine points clear from second place Real. We cannot bottle this title. Can we go undefeated also? In two league games time, we play Real Madrid. And on April 26th, we play Barcelona. Apart from them two games, I'm pretty confident that we win all the rest. Nine points clear. If we drop six points, we still win the league. And smaller teams like Las Palmas, we just don't seem to drop points. A 3-2 win. We just about do it again. Joao Felix, Morada, and Mar Rada. Okay. This man is a little bit too good. 36 goals in 35. If he continues this, he's going to get close to 45 or 50 or something silly. But like I said, we have Fenerbahce in the round of 16 next. That'll be next episode, guys. Can we win that title? Can we even win the Europa League? Will the board sack us? Well, tune into next episode. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, turn the bell on. Want another video to watch? Click this full movie right here. It's Arsenal.